Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another children's message. My name is Lauren. I'm the Children's and Youth Ministries Director at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in Everett, Washington. And I'm so glad that you could join us this morning. Today, our lesson is about the importance of resting and renewing our strength. So get the kids, get a comfy seat, and hang out with me for the next few minutes. And let's talk. My fiance and I have been planning where we would like to go on vacation for our honeymoon after we get married next month. We've looked at lots of advertisements for some great vacation spots. One is kind of like the beach resort type of thing where you can lay out at the beach. The, the resort can get massages. You have fancy food. There's lots of games and activities to do there. You can relax out on the deck or by the pool. I think I would like that a lot. Or there's places like resorts up in the mountains, a great place to relax and enjoy the cool mountain air and get away from our hot summer sun for a few days. I could take a hike in the woods or go fishing in a mountain stream. That would be a lot of fun too. I do like the outdoors like that. We are really looking forward to our vacation. We gotta figure out what we're doing though. <laughs> Did you know that Jesus taught his disciples that it was important for them to take a vacation too? Jesus' disciples traveled from town to town telling others about God and his love for them. They traveled every day preaching, teaching, and healing sick people. And they worked very hard, so hard that they often didn't even have time to stop, to eat, or sleep. They became very, very tired, I'm sure you can imagine. When Jesus saw how tired they were, he said, Come with me to a quiet place and get some rest. The Bible then says, so they went away by themselves in a boat to a solitary place. I think it's important to notice a couple of things about what the Bible says here. First, Jesus said, come with me. When we take a vacation, we need to remember to take Jesus with us. Some people never give Jesus a thought when they go on vacation. We should include Jesus in all that we do, even when we're away on vacation. Second, the Bible says the disciples went away to a quiet place. Their main purpose was to rest and renew their strength. Some people plan a vacation that is so full of activities that when they come home, they're more tired than when they left. That's not my kind of vacation. I like the relaxation. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great summer vacation and continue to, but don't forget to take Jesus with you and don't forget to set aside some time for rest and relaxation and then you can come back home or get back to school in the fall, refreshed and renewed and ready to go, just like Jesus taught us in the Bible. Let's pray that he'll help us do just that. Fold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads with me. Dear Lord, thank you for vacation time when we can rest and renew our strength. Help us to remember to include you in everything we do. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. As usual, I've got a coloring page for you guys. So here is today's. Looks like a father and son doing some fishing on their vacation time. Sounds like a lot of fun. I haven't gone fishing in a long time. Maybe I'll do that this summer. Uh, you can find that linked in the video description box below and where we post this video on our website, pplc.org. So you can download that, color that, and print that off at home. Download, print, and color that at home if you would like to. That's available to you. Don't forget to check out our online virtual worship. You can catch Pastor Gibbs' sermon on there. That starts every Sunday morning and is live streamed at 9.30 a.m. And you can find that video posted in this video as well on our Facebook page and our website, pplc.org. So check that out if you haven't already. I think that's all I've got for you. I hope you guys are enjoying your summer vacation like I am. Let's pray together and I'll let you go. Fold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads with me. Father God, thank you for this time of the year where we get to rest and renew our strength, hopefully come back home or back to school or back to work stronger and ready to go and ready to um, share you with everyone around us. Help us remember to take Jesus with us wherever we go, all summer long, all year long. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, that's all I've got for you. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.